Good morning, my name is Josh from Cyclone Oz, and today another detailed forecast update coming your way. We're going to be talking about some showers and heavy rainfall across central parts of Australia, specifically Western Australia and the Northern Territory. We're going to be talking about some showers in far north Queensland, we'll talk about the rainfall expected up there, and we've also got two separate thunderstorm outbreaks expected across parts of Queensland and New South Wales, and also we'll touch on some winter weather over in Tasmania. So there is a lot coming up in today's weather forecast, make sure you stick around to the end of the video. If you are brand new here, please consider subscribing, your support is great greatly appreciated, but we are going to start things off over in Western Australia and the Northern Territory. We do have some significant amounts of rainfall expected over the next five days. Uh, overnight, we have had some showers and thunderstorms fire across parts of Western Australia and the Northern Territory. In fact, Noonama outside of Darwin picked up a whopping 58 millimetres overnight, so some pretty good accumulations have been reported up there with some more rainfall now expected to continue over the next few days. And you can see it here on the rainfall forecast. Later today, we're going to be seeing a massive array of pulse thunderstorms storms fire up across the northern parts of Western Australia up in the Kimberley region. Uh, and like I've been saying for the last couple of days, if you are a storm chaser or if you've got plans and hopes to be a storm chaser up in the Kimberley region, it might be a good time to get out there later this afternoon because there are going to be some long-lived and pretty beautiful pulse thunderstorms just looking at this setup here across much of the Kimberley, stretching from Fitzroy Crossing north to Truscott, across to Columbaroo, uh, Kununurra and Wyndham, and then even inland to the Northern Territory south of Wadi. So there's going to be some good thunderstorms firing up there and some showers also expected into the southern part of the Pilbara along a line basically of the Hammersley Ranges around Tom Price, Newman down south of Bubble Bar across to Jigalong and inland towards Karangini National Park. So there is going to be some showers down there as well uh, which might make for some unpleasant camping experiences later tonight into early tomorrow when the rainfall will pick up from an associated low pressure system and trough that's expected to creep south from the Kimberley and when I say a powerful low pressure system I do mean it especially for this time of the year the onshore flow that this system is going to be bringing is going to provide heavy to intense rainfall for much of the northern parts of Western Australia through a lot of the Kimberley the, uh, the, well, the entirety of the Kimberley basically much of the Pilbara as well and even inland towards the North Interior and parts of the Northern Territory this big swathe here could have heavy rainfall locally intense rainfall as well at any point on Sunday and even in towards Monday as well. So some pretty good falls are expected. The rainfall and storms expected to continue right through Sunday into early Monday morning when they will temporarily ease off again and fire up again Monday evening just with how the convective patterns work up there. Thunderstorms in the afternoon. The low pressure system will also be driving some showers and light rainfall in behind it as well between Exmouth up towards Port Hedland expecting showers on a pretty consistent basis from tomorrow morning through to about Monday or even early Tuesday morning but the rainfall, the heavy rainfall is going to be concentrated along the West Australian Northern Territory border. It's in a very remote part of Western Australia and the Northern Territory, a very remote part of Australia as a whole however again it's going to be over such a wide swathe. I mean we're expecting probably about 15% of the nation to have a chance of receiving locally intense rainfall totals on Sunday and Monday just with this massive swathe of Western Australia expecting the chance of some heavy falls on Sunday and especially Monday uh, that it is certainly worth talking about in this video. The showers and thunderstorms expected to continue through Tuesday as well, uh, a trough line extending through Western Australia into the Northern Territory and across to a low pressure system in South Australia will fire up pulse thunderstorms Tuesday afternoon. These pulse thunderstorms will weaken off Wednesday morning but will fire up once again on Wednesday afternoon and that will lead us very nicely into the talk on some storms expected over New South Wales and Queensland way which we will get to in just a few minutes but we will wrap things up here over in Western Australia and the Northern Territory. My advice for this weather system here is prepare for some very high rainfall accumulations if you live in any of the following uh, locations. Wyndham, Kununurra, Fitzroy Crossing, Halls Creek, potentially but possibly not Broome, Marble Bar, Tom Price, pretty much anywhere in the central parts of the Pilbara region around those mining communities. Inland to Balgo and Kuakara and adjacent communities there. Probably not as far south as Warburton but there is a chance of getting some high falls into the south interior and parts of the goldfields as well and that's ever evident on this rainfall forecast map here with high rainfall accumulations expected on a pretty wide swathe of northern Western Australia, in fact much of tropical Western Australia uh, until about Wednesday with peak rainfall accumulations here on the Northern Territory West Australian border up to 150, 160 millimetres. That's some pretty good totals there, some pretty high rainfall accumulations are expected and a big swathe of between 20 and 60 millimetres expected including locations such as Marble Bar, Port Hedland, Newman, Tom Price, even inland towards uh, Kuakara and Balgo Hill expecting some pretty 
pretty good accumulations there as well. Not making it as far south as the uh, gas coin. I don't think, I think the gas coin will dodge it. I think the rainfall will stop between a line of Onslow across to about Warburton. Could get a little bit further south on that, but I don't think we're going to be seeing much in the way of rainfall, and it will be pretty unpredictable. And speaking of unpredictable, especially into the Northern Territory, because this is going to be mainly thunderstorm-based rainfall, in this, even though those thunderstorms are going to be very widespread, the rainfall is going to be very unpredictable and very hit and miss for some of these locations. Like I've been saying for the past week, I would not be surprised if one place picked up two or 250 millimetres, most likely along the West Australia Northern Territory border. Uh, I'm particularly interested right now, sort of around Wave Hill and Twin Hills, those are the two locations that I'm most interested in, but Halls Creek could also pick up a pretty health, uh, healthy amount of rainfall. But the rainfall will still be very hit and miss across some of these places, so don't be surprised if you pick up 5 millimeters and your neighbours get 150 millimeters. That's just the way these thunderstorms work at this time of the year. It is an unusual weather pattern as well, might I add. We don't typically see this weather behaviour in late September. This is more sort of uh, December, January. For Western Australia, we don't typically see this stuff until probably about February, so this is a very early start to the wet season and I do reckon we'll get a return to the dry weather after this. And just to wrap things up on the forecast here, you can see it is a return to the dry weather with thunderstorms expected here and there throughout Thursday, Friday. Uh, another low pressure system does move through on Thursday and Friday, which could bring some more rainfall on the 26th and 27th of September, respectively. But after that, it looks like a little bit more of a return to the calm, uh, more sort of stormy conditions around the far north Kimberley coastline from then onwards, which is much more uh, typical for this time of the year. Now, just before we go and talk about New South South Wales and Queensland. I'd just like to briefly touch on far north Queensland, keeping it tropical up here. You can see over the coming couple of days, we're not expecting too much in the way of rainfall up there. In fact, only a couple of millimetres until Friday next week, when the rainfall is expected to pipe up there again sometime Friday afternoon or Saturday morning. And I'll get that up for you on the forecast right now. You can see from Friday onwards, we are expecting some pretty high rainfall accumulations across much of the Queensland coastline. And in fact, some of this is powered by thunderstorms that you probably want to go and we're going to want to pay close attention to. So we will bring this over to the rainfall forecast here. Friday, we're expecting showers and thunderstorms to fire up across central parts of Queensland. I'm still on the edge on whether they're going to be severe or not. It just looks like a little bit of a rain-making event based off a trough line that's extending through parts of Queensland. So again, the forecast here is pretty uncertain, but showers and storms will extend up across the Queensland coastline through far north Queensland and parts of central Queensland. Showers are also expected to continue for Queensland's far north through Sunday and into Monday next week. And if I was to make a rough guess, I'd also say that Monday does present a chance of some severe thunderstorms just based based off the setup here. But again, for Queensland, it looks like a pretty hard sell and a pretty uncertain forecast at this time. And we will definitely need to review this later on at next week. It's still, this is making a forecast 10 days out in terms of tropical weather. That's unheard of. Most normal people won't do that, but I'm just giving you the heads up on what could happen on the forecast. But take this Queensland forecast with a very, very heavy pinch of salt, considering I'm trying to predict thunderstorms about eight to 10 days out in advance. And normally that goes horribly wrong, but just the heads up on the forecast there. And I would also like to bring up the rainfall forecast now for New South Wales. Uh, from Wednesday onwards, we are expecting the chance of some thunderstorms there, but also into the um, middle parts of uh, the weekend and into later next week, uh, into early parts of next fortnight, we are expecting some storms to fire up across parts of New South Wales and potentially severe ones as well. So let's break those down for you right now. The low pressure trough will move through New South Wales. The low pressure system rather will move through New South Wales on Wednesday. We're not expecting too much in the way of rainfall, but we could be seeing up to 10 millimetres across rural parts of New South Wales and between 15 and 20 millimetres for the southeastern corner. It pales in comparison to the rainfall we were expecting a few days ago, but that just goes to show how the forecast can change. This system will then skirt quickly off into the Tasman Sea. Some thunderstorms are possible throughout Thursday afternoon into the northeast of New South Wales and throughout much of uh, central Queensland. Uh, but again, I'm not expecting anything in the way of severe weather. So again, we will pass quickly through that. Friday and Saturday, a return to the drier, calmer conditions before Sunday. Another low pressure system blows through New South Wales and Victoria, bringing the chance of showers and thunderstorms, potentially severe ones with isolated pockets of heavy rainfall, especially into the south of the state Sunday afternoon on the 29th of September. And again, this is more of a heads up as opposed to an actual forecast this time, trying to predict the weather eight or 10 days out in advance for thunderstorms is kind of silly. And I am realizing that uh, right now, I've realized that before, but again, it is a little bit of a silly forecast this time, but just the heads up, it does look like a pretty certain cell that we're gonna be seeing a low pressure system move through New South Wales and Victoria at the later parts of next week, Saturday and Sunday. And they could be bringing showers and storms to some pockets of the state, especially into the Northeast and also the Southeast where some heavy rainfall is possible. But again, take that forecast with a heavy pinch of salt. I'm just out 
outlining the basics on that forecast right now. Now, before we just recap on some severe weather that's impacting Tasmania at this time, we will turn things a little bit more subtropical. I'll just take a look at rainfall accumulations across the nation over the next 10 days because it is looking healthy. I mean, even parts of the gold fields from that low pressure system next weekend uh, in Western Australia are expecting some good totals into South Australia, bring up to 25 millimetres here and there, especially around Coobapedia and Udindatta. As some good rainfall expected in Queensland and New South Wales from thunderstorms. So yeah, much of the state looking pretty wet right now. The big dry blob that's typically Australia compared to this part of the world is not so much a dry blob at this time. Some pretty good rainfall is expected with maximum rainfall accumulations outside of the Northern Territory West Australian border, up to 200 millimetres expected there from that rain making event that's moving through over the coming couple of days. Any questions or comments on that, please do let me know in the comment section down below and I'll get back to as many people as I can throughout the course of today. It's very important that you are informed when you when it does come to flooding uh, rains that are now expected uh, in a situation like this. The capital cities as well, just before we move down into Tasmania, Brisbane looking dry for the next 10 days, looking pretty stock standard spring weather for them. Same deal with Perth as well, chance of thunderstorms next Friday, but again, that does look like a pretty hard sell at this point. Adelaide, a few showers expected with the passage of that weather system over the coming couple of uh, days and also a few showers expected into the later parts of next weekend. Melbourne, some showers here and there as well scattered throughout the week. Same deal with Sydney and now into Tasmania where we will break down a little bit of winter weather that's been blowing through the state over the past couple of days. It's just starting to ease off right now and you can see it on the radar imagery at this time. That low pressure system has blown through the state for the most part or the low pressure systems have blown through the state for the most part with week one expected to brush up against the state later on this afternoon. Currently bringing winds of 72 kilometers an hour for the match Syker Island and some strong wind gusts are also possible throughout the more mountainous regions of Tasmania throughout the course of today. The showers will continue throughout the course of today before, like I said, that weak cold front brushes up later this uh, this evening and into early tomorrow morning could be bringing some snow to elevations down to about 900 metres before a return to some calmer conditions temporarily tomorrow morning. Tomorrow evening another weak cold front will blow through the extreme southern parts of the state into the southwest wilderness that will bring showers and the isolated storm here and there. Showers continuing through Monday morning clearing out by Monday evening and then into Tuesday. Another cold front does look to try and make an effort on Tuesday to impact Tasmania but it looks like it's going to be a pretty weak one. Same deal with Wednesday as well and then a high pressure ridge is going to build across parts of Victoria and Tasmania and that's going to bring some uh, much more stable and a lot cooler air as well. In fact, by Friday morning, we're expecting a very cold start across parts of New South Wales and Victoria, down to about minus four, minus five, even in some of the more alpine areas of New South Wales and Victoria, and a solid, uh, very low single digits, potentially down towards zero, even the early negative for parts of Victoria and much of Tasmania. So we will keep a very close eye on the temperature forecast next Thursday and Friday, the 26th and 27th of September, because we talk, could be talking about a pretty significant frost risk across parts of New South Wales, Victoria, and especially into Tasmania. The low pressure system will clear out by Saturday and Sunday of next week before another low pressure um, ridge, um, low pressure system rather moves through. They can bring a few showers here and there to close off September and bring in October. But again, that is a long time away and it's not worth talking about right at this time. In terms of rainfall accumulations over the next 10 days, looking up to about 100 millimetres for parts of the West Coast into the Southwest wilderness. For Hobart, not expecting much in the way of rainfall. Launceston as well, just a couple of drops up to 15 millimetres over the next 10 days. So rainfall not looking too healthy across much of Tasmania at this time, just for the, except for the west coast, which is expecting some good accumulations. But the east looks to be remaining high and dry for this time of the year, which is pretty typical for this time of the year, like I have said. And peak wind gusts as well, not too high across much of Tasmania and into Victoria as well. The weather definitely starting to calm down in terms of winter stuff, pretty much has calmed down for Western Australia and South Australia. It's just starting to calm down for New South Wales and Victoria. Now, Tasmania probably another month of the stuff until it really does clear out there. But I think, again, just a few more months and it will be completely gone. And we're really now moving into the tropical weather, especially with this weather system that's coming through over the next 10 days in parts of Western Australia and the Northern Territory. So this is very exciting stuff now for wet season lovers. It's not long until that big wet does break up there. Anyways, that is all that I have time for this morning. It's been a bit of a shorter weather update. If you have any questions about the weather systems that are going to be impacting your area, I'd like to leave a weather report for your location, then please do leave it in the comment section down below, and I'll get back to as many people as I can throughout the course of today. I've been really slack with the comments. I've been working quite a lot lately. I've been keeping myself very busy, so I have been struggling to get back to comments as well, and that's why I'm uploading just a little bit less, but I can assure you as wet season moves through, especially in towards November, December, January, February, and onwards, expect daily videos 
video updates unless otherwise notified on this channel. I'm going to be very consistent this summer, so make sure you are subscribed uh, because there is going to be an awful lot of coverage on this channel, potentially twice daily updates as well. A special shout out to the channel sponsors. Without them, this channel would not be possible and all the software as well would not be possible. Uh, so again, their support is absolutely amazing. That is all for me today and I'll catch you all in the next storm.